Hello and welcome back to my channel. This little video here is going to be a little final update for the NHS free car giveaway. I pulled the name out of the drawer on the 31st and that was a live Facebook draw. The winner was uh, number 23, lovely lady called Lindsay Smith, nominated by a chap called Giles Barr Thompson. And um, Lindsay had a lovely phone call with me, explained that Giles Barr Thompson would be more appreciative of this and that she wasn't really needing it. So lovely lady Lindsay, she decided to re-gift her prize to Giles and the results of that are, I've been chatting to Giles, he's a lovely chap, he's completely well deserving um, and um, he'll be here today to pick the car up. So um, there's just a few things I want to do before he does turn up because I've been made aware that the brake light bulb on, one of the brake light bulbs are not working on this vehicle. So I've thought, I've already checked all the important stuff under the bonnet, like uh, screen wash, brake fluid, coolant, and engine oil. So I've checked all that and make sure that's all up to scratch. Um, there's no serious issues like oil leaks or anything, so there's nothing to worry about there. But I just thought, I didn't check things like lights and stuff, so I'm gonna go around the car and take you guys for a little walk around with me, checking the lights, checking the brake lights, and I'll probably even do a little bit of how-to in this because the rear light cluster on these are a bit of an awkward bugger. So um, I think I'll do a bit of a how-to on this for changing rear lights on this Nissan Primera, just so you guys can be, if you ever have a Nissan Primera, you know how to do it, basically. So, um, We'll um, turn the camera around and we'll um, check all the lights out now. I'm glad I am checking this because we have, I don't know if you can see, but we've got side light indicator, reverse light and fog light that side. This is the type of car that does have both, uh, both normal plate bulbs. And as I was saying, basically, um, this is the type of car that does have reverse lights on both sides. And that one isn't working, so we need to do a reverse light on that side. You've got a side light indicator and brake light. I'm not sure which brake light it is, so if this one's out, that'll be perfect because I've only got to take one lens off. But it'd be sod's law that the other one's the one that's out. But we'll cross that bridge. Um, side repeater's still working. Oh, okay, that's a bit foggy. So we've got a headlight, side light bulb indicator. I haven't put those on yet, so front fog light working. Front fog light working. So let's just see if those out, other ones are working because we've got the side repeater there. Uh, how do we do that? That's the one. So we've, so far we've got reverse light bulb out and a um, brake light bulb out, but I'm not sure which one it is. So we will turn all this off and I'm going to get my bit of wood and put that in the brake pedal so we can do the brake lights so that would be typical wouldn't it this side's got the reverse light out but the brake light works fine the third brake light isn't working I have no idea how to do that but we'll have a look um, and it's this one so I've actually got to take the lens off that side for a brake light bulb I've got to take the lens off that side for a reverse light bulb and um, I think I'll do a how-to on one side, but to crack out the other side off camera. Right, so Nissan, I have done, so back to the Nissan, sorry. Um, I have done the brake light on this side. Doing this side has made me realize that Nissan, why on earth have you had to make it like a fortress to get to the bulbs? So with this, you will need a um, Phillips screwdriver to do this job. You will also need an 8 mil, I don't know if I, I, all my numbers have run, rubbed off. Yeah, 8 millimeter long socket. I'm just using a quarter inch ratchet just because it doesn't, they're not tight, but it's fine. Um, obviously, we'll need the replacement bulb because this side we're going to do the reverse light. Now, I'll get the torch in here. We have a black clip just there. 
where my finger is and we have a black clip just there where the torch is as well we've got to pull them out first like so we've then got to pull this carpet down out the way and what you will see in that back corner there's a clip there top corner there's a white clip there just there we've got an 8 mil nut and if I can show you inside there and if it'll let me show you there's another 8 mil nut just hiding which you can get access through this hole for so I'll undo them and then I'll show you what the um, next part is so we've got the two nuts off here these in that hole down the bottom there you've got to be very careful not to lose that nut because very easy to fall off so now with those two nuts undone we should just be able to pull the light out like so and what you'll see behind here oh okay this hasn't got them you'll see the other light had a screw in here and a screw in here that was a Phillips screw obviously someone's changed the bulbs in the past and not put them screws back in but that's fine by me because we can just get these clips out I don't know if I'm going to try and see if I can get this done on camera nearly there, got it if we now get that out don't want to drop the lens pop that down there so now we'll see the bulbs are here and this bulb just here is the reverse light bulb so we'll um, put the new bulb in if I can get it out put the new bulb in You'll see that you'll see that bulb is now lit up so that new bulb is now working fine we'll just get it all put back together and um, all done back up I'm gonna get some of this leaves out as well actually so I decided just to put it all back together and then bring you back in um, if I put the torch on you'll see that the clip is back up at the top there the clip is back in there also third brake light bulb has been done as well but that one was nice and easy because if I take you underneath here see the interior bulb you can also see that wire in there just in the gap see that, that white plug bit it's literally just a case of twist it to the left pull it down as a single filament uh, 12 volt bulb normal bulb and then you literally push it back up and twist it back in and it's as easy as that so that one's quite easy to do and um, I have However, let's just shut this. Um, I have, however, checked all the lights. They are all working fine now. All pre-brake lights, both reversing bulbs, both fog light bulbs, all the number plate bulbs, everything's working. I've checked the um, tire pressures, they're all correct. And as we've already seen in the video that the front headlight ones, all those bulbs are working and the front fog lights are working. So we'll just... Uh, conclude this uh might just conclude this video here oh also if anyone was wondering this is how i check the brake light bulbs i always use a bit of wood on there wedge that in with a seat like so making sure the key is on as well and then you'll see brake light bulb brake light bulb brake light bulb all done so basically this chap will be this chap Giles who um, is actually the new owner of the car because he's already got it registered in his name he's already got it taxed and insured will be popping to mine in roughly about an hour or so now um, to pick his prize up I have like I stated on the um, Facebook live new keeper supplement will be going in the glove box so we know where that is antibacterial car wipes I'll just pop them literally just on there just the other side of the no I'll pop them in the door pocket actually so he knows where they are I'll tell him where they are as well and I will um, 
in I'll be getting my mum to take a picture if he's willing. I will be getting my mum to take a picture of uh, me and Charles. One standing one side of the car, one standing the other side of the car. So we are still practicing social distancing for the purpose of uh, putting it on Facebook. And if I'm allowed to, I'll insert it in here now as well. So um, hopefully we can put that in and you'll see the chap who's won it and you'll be able to possibly leave any sort of congratulations or any messages or comments or anything. It's entirely up to you. So um, the other idea as well is uh, at the end of this video, if I'm allowed to film him driving away, that will be on the end of this video as well, but we'll see. So um, like I said, if I'm allowed to, I'll put that video in, uh, um, image in here now. So, if it's gone from putting the image in here straight back to me talking, I apologise because um, some people don't want to be known online. But if um, you was able to see that image, then that's the chap who won it. So, we'll see on that one. I will, can't promise whether he'd allow it or not, but it's entirely up to him. So, um, I think what we'll do is we'll conclude this uh, video here. Um, like I said, I've done all the checks. I'm happy to this car to go and I'm happy that it's safe enough for him to It's safe. It's perfectly safe. Um, I'm happy for him to drive away now I don't want to send him away with after bulbs not working Obviously, they may still fail in the in the future, but that's not my problem then I just don't want to send him away with a car that's got a bulb out when I can very easily change it so what I'll do is uh, if you'd like I'll say bye for now. If you like my content, give us a thumbs up. If you want to ask me any questions on this or the Polo or my little ZX, any of my projects, or just any questions in general, chuck us a comment down below and I'll answer as best as I can. And if you um, hit the subscribe button and the um, bell notification, you'll get notified of all my uploads. And considering this is still early in today, there possibly might be another video. There might be a double video upload today, but it depends what I feel like. Um, so, yeah, I'll say bye for now. See you in the next video. Car is now... in its own new owner's possession. And I'm sure you'll enjoy that immensely.